What is up guys? My name is Nick and today we're going to be doing the overpowered class setup for the M8A7. Now my friend actually suggested this one to me. I didn't make it myself, but I have to say it is very, very overpowered and I do love it. It's better than any class I was able to come up with and it's really, really strong. But nonetheless, guys, if we could hit 400 likes for the M8, that would be completely insane. And let's just get straight into this. First off, we got two perks on this class, nothing else other than that perk wise. And I really have to say like these perks are pretty damn good on this class. Now you're going to notice perk one. I don't have what I normally have on all my classes, which is six cents. I normally run that on everything, but for this sake, this class, and because of the fact that I've been using a lot of specialist weapons rather than ability lately I decided to go ahead and throw on overclock now overclock is really good because you could get your specialist weapon faster your specialist ability faster and I wouldn't really suggest it for the abilities because you got those fast enough but for the weapons like this here I'm using the purifier I use a, a, a whole bunch of different weapons I really do suggest having it so you could get those weapons a lot quicker get a lot more kills with those weapons and it's just really really good now I always said that I was gonna run six cents no matter what I kind of lied guys right here I changed my mind but nonetheless you guys could also run in Instead of overclock now now don't run two perk ones instead of overclock you guys could run blind eye if you're playing chaos mosh pit and a lot of nuketown this will make it so that like wraiths and stuff like that from above do not see you and you don't get shot by them which is really good on the smaller maps at perk number two guys we have scavenger now this is because you are using a burst weapon you will lose a lot of bullets that are unnecessary to lose scavenger will help you guys pick up those bullets a lot quicker and you don't have to worry about ever running out and being in like a sticky situation where you have like eight bullets left which is only two bursts so scavenger is really good to have now let's move on to the attachment guys like attachments on this thing are pretty weird so my friend suggested that i run elo sight but me personally i don't like running elo sight on this weapon it feels weird so i went ahead and threw on reflex now you guys could throw any sight you want but the reason i suggest either elo or reflex is because those are the two optics that have the fastest aim down sight time for assault rifles so definitely go ahead and use those don't put on like barracks and stuff because you're just going to aim down sights a little slower it's not that noticeable but it is slower which kind of ruins this gun moving on to another attachment guys because you are running an assault rifle i really suggest throwing on quick draw now quick draw sights allows you to aim down sights a lot faster which is really damn good in turn because you are using the assault rifle you want to aim that down as fast as you can and it's really really good in my opinion now another one that i would throw on because you have an assault rifle is stock so you can move a lot faster as the other attachment stock is really good because you move fast you can move around you can adjust your aim and everything and completely destroy people while they have trouble staying accurate and stuff like that it's really really good moving on to the second to last attachment guys this one is one that I really recommend no matter what attachment you use you have to throw this one on the M8 or XR2 class whichever one you're using and that is rapid fire so you can shoot those bursts a lot faster or have better chances at actually killing people up close because the M8 isn't that great up close you'll actually be able to do it really really great with this one right here and rapid fire is just all around amazing to have on this weapon you'll get those long range shots faster you'll get those close range shots you'll be on par with the SMG guys you'll do really damn good with that and for the last attachment guys this one is really good I really Really suggest this one as well because there is a lot of head glitchers the m8 is really good at picking them off so if you throw on high caliber you'll be able to get people across the map head glitching in like one burst it's really damn good now the last attachment here guys is going to be high caliber because that is amazing to have when people are head glitching you'll get them in like half a burst you'll be able to get them at long ranges in one burst and it's just really really good to have to headshot people especially everyone who head glitches and in this game we know there are a whole lot of them who head glitch so that is it guys that is the m8 op class i hope you guys enjoyed if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Leave comments down below, guys. Tell me which gun you want me to do next, and we'll get that thing OP. My name is Nick. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching. Peace.